guys, so this week's going to be kind of special. I uh, decided, me and my brother both decided that we were going to walk around in the Live Oak Cemetery. As damaged it is, as it still is. So if you want to see that video and those pictures, come on back. First, let me say here that uh, my brother and I, uh, for quite a while now, have been, you know, wondering what's been going on at the uh, the new live oak. I know the old live oak suffered a little bit of damage, but with those big old trees and everything, apparently the path of the tornado just, uh, you know, glanced it a little bit. But uh, but that's a different story for. Um, the new live oak. The, the new live oak was, uh, you know, it it was it was pretty messed up. And uh, Jim and I had worried about, you know, we didn't. Uh, my grandmother, Granny, uh, all these people that I talk about in in all these videos are buried. Uh, the ones that I personally knew, uh, all my kinfolk are buried in in that cemetery. And so uh, I just wanted to. Um, you know, we haven't heard anything. Every time you go by there, you see the clothes signs. But when we were in there, um, you know, there were some people walking around, you know, like joggers and, and, and walkers and that, that kind of thing. So I don't think they have a problem with you going over there if you wanted to. They won't let you drive in because, it, well, you just can't because there's so many trees that are down and you're fixing to see that. Um, but uh, I was very pleasantly pleased to find that uh, that my mom and dad's uh, uh, gravesite had not been had not been uh, damaged, uh, granny and grandmother, uh, grandmother and uh, my grandfather and uh, Paul, Paul and granny, they, they all theirs are fine. Clovis is fine, uh, but there are some of you out there that may be watching this that you're going to see. Uh, what's not fine. So, I, I just, I, you know, like I said, we, we just didn't know and we wanted to go in there and we want to check on mom and dad. So, uh, this is what we found. Well, I guess as uh, truly heartbreaking as this is all to see. I, I suppose it could have been worse, but I mean, it's it is what it is. I mean, I I don't know why. Um, Selma, you know, has to go through so many things that it does, but. Uh, You know, they they are still having uh, they're still burying people out there. Uh, the reason I know this is because I've seen uh, signs uh, where of, of, of where they of new places that people have buried have been buried, and they have uh, these little temporary signs to I guess to to let them know when they get all this cleaned up that they can go back and let the people in to come in and put the markers and that kind of thing. But um, it, it has a long way to go. I mean, truly a long way to go. Uh, I also thought it was kind of ironic that I looked up and I saw all these buzzards flying around. But I guess that was just a coincidence. What do you do, right? And now it's time for... <laughs> Answer the Selma question. Well, we had our Selma question last week. <clears throat> I learned my lesson. Apparently you don't want to have to go back and look at any of my videos to get the answer. I asked the question, what was, what was uh, 1955 
the total bill of one month of utilities at my daddy's house. And I put it up there on that screen and it was $16.78. That was for gas, um, what was it? Gas, water, and electricity. $16.78 for a whole month. That's crazy. So this time I'm going to just ask something simple that you don't have to research. You'll just know it, okay? Okay, this week's question is, where was Hancock's fabric located? If you know that answer, how about giving me an email right here at this address, R-I-C-L-W-I-L-S-O-N at gmail dot com. Like I said, hey, it's a free bag of a 10 pound bag of ice. Did not have a winner last week because I guess uh, you didn't want to do the research, but that's okay because we got a simple question in here this time. So how about you uh, answering that question get back with me? So let's get right back to the show. If you want to know how good this ice is, you better come on. They're standing in line. Remember, Aqua Chill. Well, as we continue here, it's uh, good to be mindful that, you know, the whole neighborhood and the whole area, and I see you see that tin there that came off of somebody's roof. So there's different debris and there's different things that are actually still in here. Uh, but these trees, it's so sad to see these trees that are turned over that are hundreds of years old. But, uh, Good Lord, I mean, it's just, uh, I know this is a sad thing, but uh, this, this is John Coon. Uh, he was lieutenant colonel, but if you remember, he was the one that actually ran the uh, Live Oak Cemetery for quite a while uh, after he retired out of the Air Force. He was a good man, and he did a good job. Uh, but anyway, as my brother and I was looking around, we were, like I said, uh, we were able to find mom and daddy. And uh, this is them here, and uh, uh, their graves look, look good. Uh, and over there beside, that's my grandmother and my grandfather. Uh, who, my grandfather I never met, but anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, episode. Uh, I know that there's many of you, just like me, that uh, just wanted to know what was going on. Uh, I still don't know what's going on. But uh, it looks like, you know, what me and my brother had, had observed, the, the, the smaller stuff that they could get off the road, uh, they cut it and threw it to the side. But there is an awful lot of work to be done out there, and hopefully we can get the funds to do it, and uh, we can get the, the want to. I'm sure there's a want to, but it just doesn't, it just seems like they're dragging their feet. But that's just me, that's just me. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you uh, next week. Uh, I'm going to be showing you something about, if you can look over my shoulder here, you can see my uh, 1952 pickup truck. I'm going to start working on that, and I don't know if I've mentioned that or not, but uh, the next episode is going to be a little bit about that. I hope you will tune in. So, I will see you next week, and there's something I'm forgetting. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'll see you later. You better be sweet. <laughs> That's what you knew. That's what I was doing. <laughs>